Here we're asked to review the graph, then use it to answer the questions below. Let's start by getting a sense of and understanding the quantities that are represented in our graph. The horizontal axis represents time in seconds, ranges from zero seconds to seven seconds. The vertical axis represents the height of a rocket in feet and starts at zero feet and goes up to 100 feet. Part A asks us what is the input quantity including units and the input quantity and the values represented by the horizontal axis are the same. So that would be time in seconds. The output quantity is the height of the rocket, that's the vertical quantity, height of rocket in feet. Summarize the situation that the graph could describe. So what it looks like here is that we're starting at zero, zero. Time is the first coordinate, height is the second. So zero, zero, the rocket starts on the ground and after a certain amount of time, it progresses, so it takes off, reaches a maximum height and then returns to the ground. So let's write that out in a sentence. So I'm gonna say a rocket is launched from the ground, reaches a maximum height, then returns to the ground. Question D asks, after 3.5 seconds, what is the height of the rocket? So I'm gonna travel in the horizontal direction over to 3.5. These tick marks are of 0.5. So this is three, 3.54. So then I'm gonna go up to the graph and I'm gonna trace, I'm gonna go ahead and plot that point and then I'm gonna trace it over to 100. So after 3.5 seconds, the height of the rocket is 100 feet. So this is the ordered pair here, 3.5 comma 100. At what time or times is the rocket 90 feet high? So I'm gonna look for 90 feet on the vertical and then I'm gonna plot, that's about right here and right here, roughly. So that's at about 2.5 and 4.5 seconds. So notice there are two separate times when the rocket is 90 feet high. So 2.5 seconds and 4.5 seconds. Identify and interpret the vertical intercept. That's gonna be the location where the graph crosses the vertical axis. Well, that's gonna be right here at zero, zero. So let's write that out. So that just means that the rocket starts, that's time zero, at, uh, let's say zero seconds, at a height of zero feet. So it's just on the ground before it takes off. Identify and interpret the horizontal intercepts. Now, notice that in this case, because my vertical intercept was at zero, zero, I also have a horizontal intercept at zero, zero. And then I have another horizontal at seven, zero. So let's type both of those out. So that is zero comma zero and seven comma zero, it's okay to have more than one. So this means that at time equals zero, the rocket was either in starting position, that's the first horizontal intercept, or it had come back down and hit the ground. So the horizontal of zero just means with the height of zero, 
that the rocket is on the ground.